Hey Builders, Brick Ready up here, and it's about that time of the month again where I got to check out the new Citizen Brick items. This is the new release for Black Friday, and they released quite a bit of minifigures. Some are reprints that I didn't have already, and some new items, so I'll just quick get these out of the box and organized. And here is almost everything that I bought from the brand new release. This side, all the new figures, the reprints. Unfortunately, I bought it in two different orders, so I am missing the Last of Us set at this exact moment when I'm building the intro. I'm just getting ahead a bit, and I'll probably insert it right after this. But in that other order, I also have another stash box, which these were previously released for one of their convention streams. It's good to get these again more readily available for people that don't have whatnot. And they had a couple of freebies, the Holographic Citizen Brick logo sticker, a nice company Christmas card there with all the employees and this holiday tin, which is going to be the first thing that we're going to take a look at. Just wanted to give a little shout out. I'm doing a quick survey and just seeing what your favorite items of this year were overall. So if you have a chance and haven't done it yet, fill out the survey in the description. The lid for the tin this year is very fun, featuring this nice reindeer design, which is going to be fitting for one of the items in here. Just popping it off. It's the normal tin that they always use. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I'll quick lay out. And this tin features a very wonderful assortment of festive items, including a reindeer tall head mask that matches the sticker on the tin and is pretty typical of their tall mask heads, like the pumpkin one from Halloween. Also includes a new Santa baby and a Christmas tree head that is printed on their molded candy corn part there. So I think that might be the first time that they use that mold outside of the candy corn heads. That's nice to see. That features a very nice amount of color, all sorts of different prints there. Everything looking nice and clean on all of these items. Another tube man here being a candy cane. Same print on the back without the face and looks like this is printed as expected. No issues with that. You get this really nice printed present piece. So that's great to get. And I think the item that everyone's gonna be most excited for is this red one by two tile, which is based off of their carded figures. This is basically a reprint from an older item. When they had their blue cards, they printed one of these tiles for that. And that older version of this piece has grown exponentially in price on the aftermarket. So it's great to see it put out there again. There's another little extra inside of the present. You get a round one by one tile that says coal. So this is a great assortment of stuff. I guess maybe I would have preferred a torso in here as well. That way you could kind of assemble a minifigure from everything. But for me, just getting this tile alone is pretty much worth it. And everything else is really great. Very thematic for the season. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have a lot of fun using these in their pictures. With this tin out of the way, let's move on into the stash boxes. I had some decent luck on my stash boxes from last time. Let's pop on the first one here. Looks like an assortment of heads. I'll quick get these laid out. And here's everything. I got an ugly woman big head, a Kermit puppet big head, and also a really cool transparent orange Yo Gabba Gabba head. I think that's the best item out of this. I got two different $1 bills, and you can see that they are slightly different actually, where one has black ink and the other one has dark green. So one of these is misprinted. I'm going to guess it's the black one. And we're seeing some old items coming back, like the guitar pick here from Citizen Brick Day from last year. I think these legs are from Jason. So those are a pretty good get. And just something to point out, I have gotten one of these like eye bandage heads in all three of these newer stash boxes that I've opened. So they must be throwing that in everything. I guess this head must have sold very poorly. That's why that's happening. But... You can see here, just adding it all up. It's a good value. I think these are $25 to begin with. So big heads are five bucks. So 20 there, and then all the other random stuff. Definitely above the $25 value. Of course, it really depends though, if the items you get are things you're gonna be interested in. And for me, I would say here again, I could find a use for all of these. That's good for me. So let's go on my second stash box. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. Bunch of big heads. I'll lay these out quick. Quantity wise, I got a ton of stuff here with just like the molded heads, 20 bucks, 26 ish with the legs. So, three free heads basically, printed arms, a couple tiles. In these dollar prints, they do have that black ink, so that dark green ink. So, that dark green ink might actually be the misprint. 
but kind of fun to get some more of those big Kermit heads, especially the one in the green, so that actually matches the character's colors. And again, great value here. I'm pretty happy with what I got. The green dead head there is going to be pretty nice. And continuing the pattern, I got one of those eye patch heads in every single stash box that I've gotten, so that is an interesting item to include in everything. Like I already said, probably didn't sell very well, so they have a bunch. But parts out of the way, let's get on into the figures. With the tins out of the way, here are the normal carded figures. All of them are just in that standard red packaging with a little bit of write-up on the front. And again, on the back, these were all bought from citizenbrick.com, pad printed like Lego on official Lego parts. So these are basically as close to real Lego figures as you can get for some of these franchises like Escape from New York. And of course, the only one that is a little bit different is going to be that Stephen Hawking figure, which has a smaller sort of print up on the back, the black hole enthusiast. And there is some assembly required for this one. We'll get to this one first. And it's very interesting to see them release a figure in this style of packaging, just because normally this would only be used for a custom set, like when they first used it for their slot machine. And this is a good use of it, having the wheelchair in there as well as the figure part. Like I said, you know, pretty typical print-up, but it's slightly different just to fit the size. But let's get these parts out and organize it a bit more. As I previously said, it does require some assembly, but it is a bit strange. It doesn't come with any instructions on how to actually put the screens in him on the wheelchair. There are some parts there. So you're gonna have to look at their Instagram and kind of piece it together by eye. It does come with three different screens, all being different video games with Pong, Tetris, and I think Space Invaders. So those are all really nice to get. You could just make some computers or arcade machines with these. So those are gonna be very nice and versatile. Plus you get a Lego wheelchair and a custom molded head here with the sort of flopped overhead. With that being said, let's get this kind of assembled and onto the stand. And here he is. I kind of got the screen put on there the way that I think you have to really. Just clipping it onto the back there. It doesn't curve over enough, I feel like. I wonder if you just used a normal droid arm. That would be a better solution since it would be more level and a bit longer but maybe this is the best you can do with the part. I'd have to mess around with it a bit myself with my own parts. But here it is, chair all together, and I'll just quick get the figure off, plus the hair off. So you can kind of see this custom part here. I'm actually surprised, it is pretty easy to get off. A lot of these custom molded heads by Citizen Brick have a lot of clutch to them, so having something a bit looser like this isn't a bad thing just because it is easy to get on and off. And I feel like a head like this could be useful in other situations, like with the party enthusiast, or really I could see this for dead heads of some sort as well. So I could definitely see them using this again in the future. There's been some controversy around this figure that maybe it's a little disrespectful and not all in comedy. But on the other end, you know, they're immortalizing a historic figure in lego sort of format you can really see it both ways um, obviously having the screens just be video games and not having any of them be more realistic is a bit off-putting as a collector of pop culture things i do appreciate getting the video game screens i think those are going to be some very exciting tiles to have in a collection but maybe just release those separately or, or do another collaboration with brick design for some arcade machines they probably didn't put that much thought into it and just wanted to make a figure with a new part for the head and thought maybe it would be more well received. I think overall the screens look really great. The printing and all these parts for the figure are good. But I can see why other people might be upset by this. With that being said, let's move to the next figures. And before we get into the carded figures, I just want to say that I'm going to do these figures in separate reviews just so I can do more of a comparison with the versions of the characters that I already have from other companies. So with the original version of the driver from Citizen Brick and then also the True Red Studios Patrick Bateman. In addition to the single carded figures, I'm also going to review this separately just so I can compare it in depth to the Jocka figures that I already have. I am very excited to look at this one though. Let's get them quick out of the way. Here's their Prince figure. I did already have this one, but technically it wasn't complete, so I bought this carded one just to have in my collection. 
the version I have doesn't have the printed legs since I got this on eBay as a fig barf basically. And I just threw on purple ones, it worked perfectly fine. The only difference really is that there is an additional layer of buttons on the legs and then some coattail prints. But this torso is great. I love the silver on it, nice and reflective. And the head being printed on olive is perfect. Face print, very nice. There's some eyeshadow or whatever around the eyes that looks great. Adds a little extra bit of depth. And the nice fine detailing for the facial hair works great. And they have printed a lot of musicians, but this one has a very specific guitar, some nice silver and gold printing on it, and even some molded detailing on the back. They really could have just left that flat, but the extra detail is welcome. So it's very cool to get this figure. I'm from Minnesota and Prince is an icon from where I'm from. So had to pick this one up and it's great to actually have a completed version of this in the collection in some way. And I'll just keep this one out of the packaging and for use in the future. Let's go to the next reprint. The next reprint is John Wick here. This was a Citizen Brick Day 2022 release. And features a really nice dark metallic silver suit here. I believe a brick arms gun and then a printed one by one round tile with one of the continental coins. Let's get the gun out of the way. I'm not a weapons person, so I can tell you what type of weapon this is, but looks pretty nice with the black plastic matching what Lego would do. It is pretty detailed, which maybe isn't super fitting for a Lego figure, but I'm sure it's a gun from the movie and is pretty accurate, so you can't knock them for that. The suit features some nice printing, some creases on the front of the legs, belt, and the coat tails, or not coat tails, but just the coat, continues on to the hip piece, and it is seamless, something that Lego doesn't do themselves, so a little bit of improvement here, same for the back. So torso is going to be really awesome, same with the legs, that combo for the suit is going to be great, even if you're not a John Wick fan, you can just have a nice suit. The face has a really nice citizen brick aesthetic, where it's a nice balance of detail, but also simplicity. This is something that Lego probably would do in the earlier 2010-ish era, but this works very well. Just some cuts. Honestly, I'd like to get this head without the cuts. So I think this would kind of fit for that one character from the Hunger Games movies, maybe. But overall, just a nice head with some facial hair. I guess if you really wanted to, you'd go with a pencil eraser, get rid of the red, and having more versatile print. And overall, you know, I'm just excited to get this character finally. Skipped out on it on Citizen Brick Day just because I wasn't as interested as I am now. And seeing other people post pictures with it, it is a objectively great figure. The suit design is very nice. And even if I don't want to keep this figure together, I'll definitely find a way to use that. Let's move on into the last of the reprints which is another gun-wielding protagonist, being Snake Plissken here. And this is another figure that was in stock when I first started collecting, but I just didn't have the interest that I did now. And looking at this, this leg print is amazing with that like camo texture. I'm not a military collector, so this usually isn't gonna be my type of thing, but definitely look at that and just know that's great. See the nice belt going along there with a holster. Same goes for the boots, where the straps and lines are very finely detailed with a very thin, clean line. I'll say I always really enjoy the metallic silver that Citizen Brick prints. It always turns out really nice and probably matches Lego pretty well. The accessory here, I do believe, is a Citizen Brick molded gun. So, not a Brick Arms, that's something that, when this figure came out, was a little bit newer for them. Obviously now they've gotten a lot more into molding their own pieces. The head, again, just like John Wick, featuring a nice blend of simplicity, but also great detailing. The nice little scar there is a great little detail. And I do always enjoy their facial hair prints, especially like the stubble ones here. 
another really nice detail with that small watch printing with the digital time going on there and a little bit of extra strap going around the arms doesn't wrap all the way around but that's not usually what citizen brick goes for so that is to be expected just pop the hair off none of their figures usually have anything on the back but the back of the torso has a little bit of detail with that extra bit of definition for the muscles and then also the back of the neck and again i think this is one of those figures you can definitely toss some parts elsewhere so you just have a nice tank top probably throw these legs onto a stormtrooper of some sort and this gun is just so weird and sci-fi so that's kind of nice to get while i'm not super familiar with the movie that this is based on i do recognize the character and now that we have this one out of the way let's get to our first new figure brand new carded figure being the duke also from escape from new york and this is the antagonist from that movie featuring the same gun as snake just because in the movie he ends up stealing that from him and this is such a weird design just because it's based off of a futuristic sci-fi movie one thing i'll point out is that these boots are printed on white legs and the gray is all print so looking at the hip piece you can definitely see it on the front there that the colors do not match between the legs and the hip which is going to be the side effect of printing a color you know it's not always going to be 100 percent matched lots of great things though again with the fine details like a little stopwatch there the bands on the arms also look great with the gold on those let's get this out of the way for now and honestly this is just like a weird pirate type figure so i'm sure you could use this torso for parts of the caribbean fig barf of some sort or just figure out some other weird fantasy way to use this i also think this head could just be pretty useful for any sort of african-american mashup that you want to do it's kind of fun it has a little earring there and i do really like the detailing here again with the nice beard and a little extra bit of eye detailing looks interesting i always get interested with some of their figures that are a bit more modern have a bit more detail and then some of them have a bit simpler of designs where you look at it and it's like eh, that's pretty classic citizen brick i definitely see that here especially in that face print where i always kind of wonder when they actually design these figures if they are brand new designs when they're coming out or if they go back to the drawing board and like all right we can finally make this figure but i definitely think if you're a fan of the movie obviously i think this is pretty cool and just as like a general collector piece in the citizen brick collection this definitely has some very interesting parts like these cowboy boots and that's something very interesting to see uh, throughout the last year that citizen brick has really gotten into printing figures with different boots and for the most part they always do them on these white legs with the extra pants or leg being printed instead of just having the gray legs with white shoes and there are positives and negatives to that like having the full foot being the same color but like i pointed out the colors don't match perfectly so there's always going to be a trade-off there nothing on the sides of the torso here but this is a cool figure i'm glad to have it let's move on to the comparisons and the final verdict Overall, I think this release was really great, especially just for these two highly anticipated figures, bringing back older concepts and making them readily available. Very excited to take a look at these in their own review eventually, but I think these are probably going to be my two favorite items from this Black Friday release. Overall, I think this release was very good, especially for the community. And if you are new to collecting, it's always nice to get a couple of figures that have been sold out for retail and you know for some people maybe it's a bummer they only released a couple new things and a lot of it was just those reprinted figures but i think it's probably better for their business just to have more products in the store and if they have been sold out for a while maybe that meant that they had pretty good numbers in the first run so it's worth it to get some more out there in the market especially for me as a minnesotan having prints available again is cool to see
plus the holiday gift this year is awesome. And I might feel a little bit conflicted on if a figure is better than the loose parts, but the tile and then the present print there are both probably two of my favorite parts here. And with almost all of these figures, the parts are what make these so worth it. Just having all those different computer screens for the Stephen Hawking figure is awesome. And I'm sure people are going to have a lot of fun with those. And just some cool molded parts like finally being able to get one of these antlers is great. Just because I've always seen people have them, never got a chance to get one for myself. And I just love the wacky designs, like that head there is great. All of the Christmas items are perfect. And I'm excited just to crack open the rest of the figures I didn't review here, just because those are just so out there for Citizen Brick. It's great to see them do some stuff that's a bit more modern. And like I already said, just bring back some old ideas to make them more readily available for anybody. And I think that's going to keep the hobby a little healthier so we're not seeing all these people pay ridiculous amounts of money for like a torso on ebay but let me know in the comments what did you pick up this time around and out of all the figures you saw here which one's your favorite if you want to see more custom lego reviews or citizen brick reviews check out all the other videos on my channel i've been brick ratty app and i'll see you in the next video